Sitting almost dead center within the Green Mountains National Forest in southern Vermont is one of the most beautiful lakes I have visited. Totally surrounded by a thick forest of evergreens, birch, oak, and maple trees, the lake is unmarred by the presence of any structures. Numerous pairs of loons make the lake their home in the summer months. Their haunting calls can be heard echoing up and down the long, slender lake. Occasionally, a moose can be seen swimming across the lake, while eagles and ospreys can be seen fishing the rich, clear waters. Beavers and otters are often found skimming silently through the early morning mist rising up from the lake's surface. Numerous streams feed into the lake from surrounding mountains, providing a wonderfully tranquil setting in the coves for spotting otters and beavers coming down the streams, and eagles sitting majestically in the surrounding evergreens. It's a place that, more times than I can remember, I have gotten lost in the smells of the evergreens, the fragrant wildflowers, the soft breezes, and the calming stream feeding over the rocks into the lake, while sitting peacefully in the bottom of the canoe.
Although not a natural lake, it was created by the New England Power and Light Company as a reservoir when they dammed the southern end of the Deerfield River many decades ago. The lake is, nonetheless, a picture postcard Vermont treasure. Kept in its pristine natural setting, the lake is a testament to the state's and large companies' determination to keep the area a natural setting for all the wildlife that calls this area their home. The desire to keep all building and development away from this treasure has so far been adhered to. There are days when the lake can get very rough. As the wind blows through the six mile long lake, it kicks up the surface of the lake to a point where it sometimes is impossible and dangerous to paddle the lake at all. Close attention must be paid to the weather as severe thunderstorms can roll through the lake as fast as a dragonfly goes from one mosquito to the next. For canoeing and kayaking, there is no better place to spend the day. Sometimes paddling peacefully, and sometimes spending the day fighting vigorously against the winds. But either way, it is a lake that, kept in its natural setting, is a true treasure for Vermont.